Before we talk more about Winter Olympics, let's now head back to the latest situation at the Tokyo Summer Games. Our correspondent Phoebe Amorosin is now joining us live from Tokyo. Good to see you there again this hour, Phoebe. Now, athletes from around the world, as we speak, are arriving in Tokyo. Tell us more about the athletes' village and how are the coronavirus precautionary measures taking there? Right, so there have been some confirm, um, concerns because uh, two cases have been confirmed within the Olympic Village, uh, two members of the South African soccer team, and they were immediately isolated. But where there was a bit of a problem is that 21 of the team members have been confirmed as close contacts. Organizers, however, have been revising the rules because close contacts have been uh, popping up maybe more than expected. For example, if someone comes in on a flight where someone is confirmed to be positive, then they might be a close contact and this could really disrupt the games so anyone who now tests negative six hours before competing will be allowed to go ahead and enter the tournament so that's a way to make sure that athletes are still able to compete um, for example in China's example sending the largest ever overseas delegation 431 athletes the hopes are very high that uh, the, they, the athletes will perform better than Rio and of course athletes from all around the world are coming in they want to make sure that they have the chance to compete having actually got here on the ground. So everyone will be undergoing daily testing in the Olympic Village. Results are in within 12 hours. And the procedure is if someone does test negative, they go to a fever clinic that's been specially built inside the athlete's village. And then if they test, um, sorry, positive, if they test positive again, then they will be transferred to a different facility. So there are several procedures that the organizers have uh, laid out in their playbook and they're looking to implement that just to give you an idea of some of the numbers uh, this morning the spokesperson for Tokyo 2020 organizing committee Masa Takaya said that 22,000 people have come into Japan since July the 1st and only 28 cases have been confirmed within that. This shows that the measures are effective, the ratio is very low. Today, yes, we have heard some more cases confirmed, that number may rise, but so far the organizers are confident that the measures they have in place are working effectively. Thanks very much. That's Phoebe Amber Rosen joining us live from Tokyo as we get close to the Summer Games.